Bro, I don't know if, like, you know. Maybe you can just give like ten or twenty second introduction, and then you can start with your questions. Yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, saying for about myself something. Like, my name is Indi Tofi. I just uh, finished my masters from TU Darmstadt, Germany, mm-hmm. and my transcripts are yet not ready, like like the final transcript. But I graduated already. You can say the official. Like, uh, the official process is going on to be de- matriculated. So it's the masters, right? Yeah, I I completed my masters. Yes. And uh, how long was it? One and a half or two years? Uh, it is actually in uh, in Germany. It was uh, like I I took it like three years. salary also whatever i know because i will know for sure after one more year but some of my friends are also working in germany as phd so whatever i've heard from them at least in the first and second year the salary that you get is like 100 euros more in netherlands as compared to germany because you pay more tax in germany it might vary from region to region but that's what i've heard from them okay so basically in this position i can see they already have advertised that the salary will be like 2 2325 to 2900 something euros monthly so this is this is like a gross salary i mean this and yeah 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 yeah. Uh, yeah so one question for you how much kilometers are you staying uh, i mean where are you doing your ma- masters now i am do- i completed a master from tu darmstadt which is like uh, 40 kilometers from frankfurt Okay, then you are safe. You might get the thirty percent ruling because you know about the thirty percent ruling or no? No, I don't know. So I mean, I won't go into the details because I also don't know much about it. But only thing I know is that uh, there was a guy from Nepal who was uh, doing a PhD. He is doing a PhD now also. So he is now in his final year. He did his masters in Saarland University. You know about Saarland? Yeah. So that's the rule in Netherlands is like if. you have studied away from netherlands 150 km away there's a radius certain map you need to follow mm-hmm. then you get a 30% ruling so that gives you 30% tax benefit yeah. uh, so that is a big advantage which we don't get because we studied in netherlands so our salary is really low okay. just similar to what dutch people get exactly the same but uh, for you there will be 30% ruling because frankfurt i think is like 250 km right because one of my professor he works part time in frankfurt dipf so that's why I, i mean in that way you are safe because you should be away of 150 km then you will get the 30% ruling that's the rule so if you get the 30% ruling then your salary will be really huge i mean it's same as what seller employees uh, working professionals get in netherlands without the 30% ruling so whatever you see as gross normally without 30% ruling we get like 2000 because during my time the first year was 2222 four twos it was during that time one and a half is back now it's 2300 something right yeah. so that will after you cut down the real tax and include the bonus and do the average per year so it will be somewhere around 1900 euros or something like that but if you get the 30% ruling i think it will be 200 or 300 euros more so it will be somewhere around 2100 or 200 but that is only the first year after first year the increase is really sharp so after first year you get like 400 or 500 euros increase of your salary net salary so it will be somewhere around 2500 because now in second year i get without 30% ruling around average if you include the bonus it's around 2300 euros oh. so for you it will be around 2600 or something like because 30% ruling gives you a lot of benefits and then the increase is like 50 50 100 100 or something each year so the first to second day increase is really huge and then and that salary in netherlands trust me is really more than sufficient like unless you have a loan to repay it, it will be like really huge like you can easily save like a more than 50% of a salary it's not that much like okay so same is in germany as well like uh, in germany if you do a phd you you have a gross salary of three. Three thousand nine hundred, almost. Mm-hmm. But but the netto salary is like two thousand two hundred something. So you get in hand in the first year two thousand two hundred something. So mm-hmm. this I want to know 
one thing this 30% reduction of tax this includes includes the insurance as well like uh, life insurance no 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 that is different like the insurance is deducted from your uh, salary from the i mean those things are generally done by the university because here you are hired as an employee they are your employer so they organize the 30% thing if they don't do it then you just claim it because you are eligible for it sometimes there is miscommunication and i mean you can at that time no there will be a secretary and there are many other things and for the insurance it's generally deducted from the salary that you get in your account every month that is a separate company so it's no way related to the salary but that is i think now it has increased a lot so now it is around after discount they have like a group discount for each university then you pay like a 108 or 110 euros every month but that's why i said like if you get even 2100 or 200 in the first year 100 euros or 110 euros is your insurance mm -hmm. and like rent in delft even if you pay a lot will be like 600 or 700 euros or maybe less depending on where you find away from city center or near university it's around 500 600 700 but away is like 400 500 depends and your food and everything will be like 100 200 and if you don't cook regularly it will be like 300 or 400 so that's why in 1000 euro or 1200 even if you spend lavishly and travel and other things you get everything so rest of the thing you save so that should not be issue like okay cool i so mean that that's why i say always like there was a person who was calling one hour back like Germany, Luxembourg, Netherlands, and Switzerland. These are the places you should dream of doing a PhD if you want to consider PhD as a good paying job. Like not as comparable to jobs, but still it is good. Yeah, exactly. I know about the the PhD countries in USA as well. They do not have that much of labor. No, no, no. That's like the, you are a student. You do it for five or six years, and then you have to do certain courses. There are a lot of other things. Like, can you can you tell me a little bit about the insurance? Like like the first the question is like here what happens in the PhD cases? Here the insurance is quite high. Like in the PhD guys have to pay like around two hundred euro, and that is all only the fifty percent of the insurance, and the other fifty percent is paid by the university itself. Oh no no, it's not that complex here. That's why I said this is the only amount university will arrange a company which they have tie up for all the employees. You are you can. opt out for it but i never do it because i don't have time to manage all those things just to save one or two euros i mean sometimes people find their own to save something or it's a big hassle so just choose that and that will automatically debit every month like 110 euros that is from after you get a salary i mean it's only from your account so the account that number that you have given so it's no way related to the salary or the university that is the 100% amount 110 euro which is now but uh, it is the basic insurance so if you want something like a dental or eye or something people do it like 10 or 20 euros extra they will ask you initially but it depends i mean for me i didn't do it any dental or eye because a dental or eye is very expensive in netherlands so that's why pe people who have some problem or who fear it they do it but i have done only the basic insurance if you do it it will be like 130 or 140 euros instead of 110 Like, Otherwise, everything is fine. That is like a hundred percent. Right now, I am paying like hundred ninety euros. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no, no. It's not that expensive. Like that's why I said, if you consider all these things, then the salary that you get here is little bit higher than Germany. I'm not saying as very high, but a little bit. Like after all of the deduction, like you get uh, at least in the first year, you get nineteen uh, hundred in your hand. That's what. You that's what i was getting i mean i'm doing the i'm also including the bonus because here whatever you see in the salary you also get two months bonus there is like one month salary 13th month bonus and a holiday bonus and that you can choose when you get sometimes people take it every month like a division sometimes people so those things your secretary is going to explain i mean you a lot of benefits like when you see you have like a 40 Thirty, forty days, or something like holidays in a year. So there are like lot of things like, like the holiday bonus is like if you don't take the holiday, then you get a bonus, or you will get a bonus. If you no, no, no. That is mandatory. Everyone gets a thirteenth month bonus and a holiday bonus. So whatever I know, I think one you can take at the end, and the other thing you can uh, either take it at the end as a bulk with this, or maybe take it every month. 
So if you take it at the end, you will get like a two months extra salary. You can say like because it's like eight percent. Eight percent is similar to one month salary. So like so. yeah, so actually get hundred euros or two hundred euros more than Germany netto, like in hand. Like I, if I say like you have to divide these two months of salary in twelve months, then you get like three hundred euros or four hundred euros more, right? Yeah, I mean. It's like, and you have thirty percent ruling. So if you compare to any person who is not God, you will know how much benefit you are getting. So that's like huge. <laughs> yeah, that that solves many questions that I have. So I'm definitely applying. That is for sure. So besides that, I I uh, hope that you get in there and then inform me that you <laughs> get in there. Obviously, have we will be in touch with you. Obviously. You will be my mentor for first month. <laughs> I mean, by that time, I think you will have also because initially my channel was meant for PhD, but then I shared other information also. So that's why I make those weekly vlogs. Sometimes they are like a random thing. Sometimes they have some information which might help some people. So at that time, you might find some information which is useful. Like because I am planning to make one on the publication because many people have this misconception. You will ask some other PhDs also, like mostly international PhDs. They will say like you need four. It's not like that. Like I mean, if you are from a psychology or some other faculties, they say it is four. But in psychology, running a study takes like one and a half years. So how can a person have a four publication? That is impossible. They have like two big journals which are really good quality and like ten or something like Nature or something, and then they still manage to have the thesis. So everything is on your supervisor and then performance and everything. So it's not that issue. That's a lot of information I get today. <laughs> <laughs> I got netto month in, oh, and how is the social life like? Uh, how is is there any problem with the immigration or the international students? How is the social life? No, I mean, did you see the video? I think I posted one. How is the social integration in Netherlands? It has very limited information. There was one guy who asked in Skype. I have one video on that. Just check it. Uh, I think the name is what? How is the social integration in Netherlands? So that was like a Skype call between someone who did his masters in UK and he wants to come to Netherlands for working. Okay. So he was asking about that. I mean, if you talk about social integration, I see only two things. Like the first thing is the language, which is never an issue in Netherlands. If you come to Germany, I speak that a lot. Like uh, everyone speaks fluent English, right? From a small child to an old person, no one cares. I mean, they will start. Sometimes they speak in Dutch. Immediately switch when they see that you are an international speaker. So that is fine. Okay, yeah. And that solves everything. I mean, for me, when you have that language barrier, that is a main issue. Then the social thing it varies from person to person. Like, I mean, you might have read somewhere. Even I said that in the video. I think like Dutch people are very direct. So that is one of their quality. So. That's how it is. So once you are here and you know them, then in a way that is good because when you're working with that team mm -hmm. and people say on the face, you might feel. But if you know f beforehand that it is good or it is bad, then it's really good. It's not like they're just faking something or something like that. That's cool. I am habituated with that, so I have no problem. <laughs> I was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, once you are here, it's almost the same. Like, I don't know exactly, but because the thing is, all of my supervisors who with whom I work here, they are originally they are from Germany. So my whole ninety percent of my colleagues are from Germany. So in TU Delft, it was like there was a mix: German, Italian, and Dutch. Whatever I had in my close proximity, and here mostly they are like Germans. But they are working in many places. Like one of my professor, he's half of the days in Delft, half of the days here. One half of the days in Frankfurt, half of the days here. So they are like really like. Okay. So that's why you. You are not actually a PhD in TU Delft or. No, 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 no. What is the name? Of I mean, I. Actually, my official PhD is registered in Open University, which is in the south of Netherlands. But uh, my projects and everything it goes on in many places. So one of the SAPAT project it's in Aachen. I go to Aachen many times in Germany, and for doing the experiments in the classroom, I I mean I'm going to work later, but I will do some experiments with my former thesis supervisor in TU Delft because they are one of my professor is now working for three days in computer science. He's a professor. Okay. 
and some of the expense also might be in frankfurt in the next year or something no one knows like a <laughs> lot of options thing is i need to work so that's the thing okay understood so 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 like is also done there is no problem with the immigration or issues right there 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 no. maybe i stop the recording i think this much information is really huge like <laughs>